I, I do enjoy a bit of me grub, and I love cooking. Myself, my son is just here. We uh, we do a bit of cooking. He's he's chefing as well at the minute. So this is and this is my first time. I'm ashamed to say I was always working around this weekend. I was never here. So I managed to buy a couple of free tickets, and I'm up here now to stuff me gob. <laughs> So I must say, I unfortunately didn't get to follow Game of Thrones. I think I, I have to go back to it. But can you tell us a bit about where you're at at the moment? Well, we're just about at this time. We are very, very close to finishing the entire thing. But uh, you're not going to see it until next year sometime. And I don't even think they have a release date yet because they don't have to. So, uh, But I'm very close to getting rid of the beard. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Once Game of Thrones finishes, what would you love to do? I'm going to, what's known in the trade as decompress. So I'm going to do nothing for, uh, for the summer. And then, uh, and then of course, I'm going to start panicking that I'll never work again. And then we'll see what happens. Is there anything, in, ter in terms of live theatre, is there anything that you'd love to see this summer? Uh, no, I believe the snapper starting up in the gate. Uh, so I might have a look at that. I'm a big fan of Roddy Doyle, who isn't? So I might have a little look at that. It's a very different for the gate theatre. So I think they should be given a bit of support. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm looking, kind of looking forward to that. But it's loads of stuff over the summer, so we'll have a look at we'll have a look and see what's around.